Sagittarius, hello, and welcome to your new monthly tarot reading for this new month of August 2024. If you would like to watch the link to the extended, I'm now offering 50% off all extended readings. You can find the link to that down in the description box below and also in the comments that are linked down below. All right, let's go ahead and jump right in to your dominant energy, and you are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Wow, look at this. Nice. So if you see the number 3, 333, 303, anywhere, that is an indication of you finally getting the recognition and reward that you so rightly deserve. Congratulations. Okay, you've done a great job. You didn't give up. And you saw it through to the very end. So I see here that again, as you can see, this young man, he's bowing down, kind of like saying, thank you, thank you, uh, a round of applause all around him. And he's in the limelight. The light is shining on him in the limelight for a job well done, for not giving in, for not giving up. There's also recognition and rewards coming in towards you. So if you've been putting in a lot of work, a lot of effort into something, you're like, gosh, when am I finally going to get my peace? When am I finally going to get the money, the love of my life, the recognition, the reward for this? Whatever this is, love-related, career-related, finances, friends, a project that you're working on, ideas, family situations, finally, it's coming in, you guys. So congratulations. I see here that this hasn't been easy. It has not been easy, but I see that you're not giving up, you're not giving in. And again, this has to do with something related to an area of your life where you've been you've been through hell and high water, okay? You've literally been through hell and high water. Yes, you did almost give in, you almost gave up, but you were like, you know what? No, I can't, I can't. There's something within you, okay? This, this young man, there's something within you that just doesn't let you give up. Even if your mind says, you know what? You're trying too hard. You know what? I think that you should just quit here. There's like this inner driving force within you that's like, nope, nope, I'm not giving up. I'm going to speak my truth. I'm going to see it through to the end, whether this is whatever it is. I mean, it could be based on a project, a career, a relationship. Okay. Um, but I see here that you're, you're just not giving up. There's going to be pressure, believe me, towards the end of, you know, this last month. And in the beginning of this month, the pressure is going to be on. Okay. It is going to be fire. Okay. But I see here that if you stay true to you, this is, this is a young man who stays true to his core. I mean, if you think about the, the you know, the world, right? The earth. And when I was younger in elementary school, we, we studied, right? All of the layers of the earth, the core, it's so hot. It's so hot in there. It activates everything. It's kind of like, like, a, like a, like a volcano in there. That's how hot it is. And so there's something within you that just doesn't allow you to give in, give up, or to, kind of do what other people want you to do. It just, it's even if your mind, like I said, is telling you you're pushing it too far, you're pushing it too far. Yeah, maybe there will be moments of like, okay, let me just give it a break, but you will soon just gain more energy, gather your energy and go at it again. <laughs> okay, so congratulations. Let's go ahead and jump into the tarot. We're going to be going into your past, present, future position, who, what is coming towards you. Also, what is in your challenge position, how to overcome that challenge, and what is in your opportunity. Now, comment down below, you guys, because remember that new YouTube algorithm has been hiding my videos. So by you commenting down below, even if it's just an emoji letting me know how these readings resonate for you, you definitely help the channel stay on YouTube because YouTube has been shadow banning my channel channel, not showing my videos, hiding my videos, unsubscribing my subscribers, all that stuff. So again, thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, comments down below. Okay. Thank you. All right, let's jump right in. So you could be dealing with the sign of, let's see, um, I see the sign of Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, 
Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Uh, whatever other sign this is does not necessarily have to be any of these. I see here the Three of Cups. Oh my gosh, you guys, celebration. You guys are going to celebrate. There is something huge about to happen this month for you. You're finally going to feel like, oh my gosh, I made it. I'm here. I'm at the top of this mountain. It's kind of like you've been climbing that mountain. You've been climbing that mountain and it's so hot outside you're running out of water you're running out of steam and halfway there you're like oh should I keep going and then you look back down and you're like gosh I've walked so far I'm so high up here I can't possibly give up you're finally going to get to the top Okay. And you're going to celebrate. There's going to be new people. You're going to be meeting new people. So if you get invited somewhere, um, say yes, say yes to these invites and also connect and network with other people, with new people. I feel like these people are going to definitely kind of connect you with new opportunities that can expand your horizons, whether in love, career, finances, friends, whatever this is, family members, but there's going to be a huge celebration and many multiple celebrations this new month. So put yourself out there. Don't stay in hermit mode for too long. Now I'm also seeing here that some of you guys could be getting a higher paying job, a higher raise, um, a higher position here in whatever area of your life. This is, this could be career related, love related family. Remember for those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome. The way that the readings work here on my channel is I do general reading. So this reading can literally be pertaining to any area of your life, love related, career, family, friends, finances, co-workers, a boss, ideas that you have, right? Um, things that you're working on, whatever this is, you take the reading however it resonates for you. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Remember also, you can uh, shift the energies, okay? So if they are in reverse, and you go ahead and uh, do that. But in your challenge position, you have here the five of swords, the four of pentacles, and the tower. Yeah, so in your challenge position, I feel that a lot of you guys are avoiding a, a shakeup. It's like something here is pushing your button. Something here is kind of, you know, infuriating you, or it could just be somebody here that um, is creating issues around you. And you're just kind of like, okay, count to 10, count to 10, keep it together, keep it together. <sighs> think positively, think positively, right? And it's it's like saying here that you're, you're trying to avoid a shakeup. You're trying to avoid it, but this is going to be unavoidable, you guys. It's going to be unavoidable, but it's going to be in your favor. It's going to be in your favor. I see here, th th this is just saying, you know, don't get triggered by a person who's trying to push your buttons, who's trying to, um, I feel like you guys have been getting this energy for quite some time. And I feel like that energy is still there, but it's about to leave because look at that, the blow up is finally happening. That kind of energy of, you know, if you've been getting red flag signals, if you've been getting kind of like, you know, um, that energy where you see that something is wrong in a situation, but you keep sweeping the problem under the rug, you're not going to be able to sustain it in there anymore. This is going to, this is going to definitely crumble. There's going to be something here that's going to crumble if you keep avoiding it. So don't avoid that problem, that issue, because it's going to fall apart. It's been set on a very shaky foundation. There's something here that has been building and building and building and building, but it's its foundation is very shaky. It's like trying to build a building like an engineer. Imagine, you know, um, you being an engineer and you going to the land and you saying, okay, let's see, where can I build this building on this land on this, you know, the best piece of land, but all the best piece of land is taken. And so they, you know, you find that muddy piece over there in a corner and you're like, okay, I'll try to build it on that muddy space. I mean, can you imagine trying to build this huge building on just mud? Okay, impossible for it to stand right firm. So there's something here related to, you know, you ignoring a problem and needing to face it finally. Otherwise, it's going to crumble. For some of you guys, this shakeup is either about to happen, has already happened, that kind of vibe. And you know, I feel like it's it's a little bit difficult for you, It's or it's going to be a little bit challenging for you to open up, to open up to change, to open up to different things. I'll give you a brief example. Let's say, for example, you've lived or you've worked in a place or you've been in a relationship and um, 
you know, you've been there for a while and you've grown accustomed to it. You've grown comf you know, comfortable in it, but it's not necessarily all that um, good, right, for you. You know that you're already kind of like something is off. Maybe you're over it. Maybe the people around you are jealous. Could be people around you are triggering you, whether work-related, family, love, career, a connection here, whatever this is. And so you're just like, okay, I just you're going to ignore it because you just want to keep the peace. You want to keep the peace. And so there's this other opportunity that comes in, but it's going to require you that new opportunity to step outside of your comfort zone. But you're so comfortable where you are. You're like, gosh, you know, moving from one house to another, that's going to be a pain in the you know what. And, you know, I'm going to have to hire movers and pack everything. Or if this is a job, you're like, God, I have to work on my resume. And, you know, looking for a new job. Yeah, maybe I'm not too comfortable here, but, you know, just the thought of the process of change might be a little bit intimidating for you or a little bit kind of like, ugh, you don't want to do it, you know, or in a relationship like, gosh, you know, yeah, you notice that that person is, it keeps doing something over and over and over again. And you're like, God, you're so annoyed by it, but you're like, God, I don't want to start any trouble. I don't want to cause a breakup. I don't want to cause any arguments. But this is indicating you're going to have to open up either communication wise, either your heart. For some of you guys, ask yourself, is your heart shut off? Have you closed off your heart in some kind of way where it's creating a little bit of a sense of animosity because you're so closed off to people, situations around you? And it's kind of like that person gets triggered because they see or they feel like you don't care. You kind of walk around and you feel, you, you seem seemingly very aloof. I feel like you guys naturally have that vibe, like just very aloof, very non-caring, very detached even though that may not be true, but you may come across that way. So the more closed off that you become, right, um, the more that they see you that way. And that's why these people around you or a particular person could be starting drama. It could be one particular person or a group of people here around you, whether career related matters, family, love, whatever this is, that, um, is trying to get your attention. Okay. It's like this person keeps pushing your buttons. They keep, you know, kind of like, um, annoying you, frustrating you. And you don't really understand why you're like, God, why does that person keep doing that? Why are they so annoying? Because they see no reaction from you. Okay. They don't see any reaction. They get more and more angry. They're like, Oh my God, this person doesn't care. <sighs> what am I going to do now? Like, you know, so it's like they're trying to trigger you in some kind of way. Now, the answer is don't get triggered, but instead open up in such a way where you either communicate with this person and or just find a way out, plan your exit. If this is exiting a job, start working on your resume. You're going to have to step outside of your comfort zone. It's not going to be easy. It won't be easy because it's something different. It's something here that you're not used to doing. It's something here that you haven't done in a while, whether it's moving from one place to another, from one job to another, connection wise, whatever this is. But I promise you that you will acclimate. You will acclimate. You just have to take that first step. For others of you, you are dealing with a personality type who is very closed off and there could be a challenge here with regards to this person who is very closed off towards you and there's also this other energy that I'm picking up on where there could be a person who is a bully, there could be an individual here who... Um, they could be very disrespectful, this person can also be very difficult to deal with, okay? It's like... Even if you try to stay in peace, this this is still going to crumble. It's so, so I'd rather, you know, I suggest you to, to open up, to start looking for your exit and or to have some kind of a conversation. But I feel like either way, that person is still kind of like, I don't know, they have a really weird, like not a good vibe. Okay. Yeah, it's not a good vibe at all. Now let's go and look into your past. So recent past, you have your the Eight of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Six of Wands. So in the recent past here, yeah, you felt very restricted. You felt very restricted, excuse me. You felt stuck. You felt like you were stuck in a situation like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I can't move. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't let this job go. I can't move out of this connection because I need this person or I need this 
something or I need this job or I need to stay in this environment for a while because I signed that thing, that contract, that paper, that agreement, or for one reason or another, you felt stuck. You felt like a victim. You were going through victimhood mentality. But for some of you guys, you just didn't want to step out of your comfort zone. It was that easy to do, but perhaps you were like, you know what? It, it was more of a sacrifice for you to step out of your comfort zone and to be honest with yourself than to go through the situation. Uh, I'm seeing here that also in the recent past, like I said, an opportunity did come through. An opportunity came through that, um, you know, ended up helping you. I feel like you took that opportunity. This opportunity here, at first you were kind of like, oh, I don't know. That's too good to be true. I don't know if I should go towards that. But then you were like, you know what? I'm going to snap out of it. You took action and you ripped off that blindfold off your eyes because you. I feel like you didn't have a choice. You were like, I have no choice. I'm going to have to do this. So you took on that opportunity and it led you to success very recently in the past. It led you to success and you were like, gosh, thank God I did it. You know, people around you were like, bravo, you know, you finally did it. How did you do it? People were questioning you like, oh my God, you did so incredible. You look incredible. What have you been doing? You know, and again, you, you make things look so easy, but I know that it took a lot out of you. I mean, a lot. Okay. Now, let me in the comments below what that was all about. Was this happening in your career, love, finances, friends, family related matters, whatever this is. In your present situation, you have the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and the King of Swords. Now, when I say present, since it's for the month, it's like the middle of the month, okay? So in the middle of the month here, the Ace of Pentacles, um, the Four of Swords, and the King of Swords here, you're going to be getting, you guys, I'm telling you, open up to this new place, this new opportunity, these new ideas, even if it's going to take a little bit of time, okay, or out of your comfort zone, take you out of your comfort zone, because I'm so... Like, I promise you, you guys, like, you guys have to let me know in the comments below the next time because there's a huge offer in the middle of the month. If you actually do do the work and you step out of your comfort zone, you're be, you're going to be getting a huge offer, whether it's huge commitment, whether it's big money coming in, abundance coming in for you, an offer here that can catapult your business to the next level, your career to the next level, your idea, your vision, your product that you want to present to the world, whatever this is, it's huge. And it's long lasting because it's something tangible. It's something here for long term. Okay. It's not just like a quick win. Uh, no, this is, this, this, this holds, you know, um, that energy of ground grounding energy for a long time to come. So I see here that you're going to be getting a huge offer, a huge opportunity in the middle of the month. And I'm also sensing that because this opportunity is coming towards you, grab it, grab it and run with it. If you have to sprint, sprint with it, okay? But don't let it go. Uh, it, it's meant for you. I'm seeing here that it's going to allow you to rest. You've been working so much, you guys. I, I see it here. You have been overworked, overstressed. You've been overdoing it. People around you don't even realize how much you go through on a day-to-day -day basis because you make it look so easy. I feel that even some of you guys have taken on other people's responsibilities to help them because it's like that saying, if you want something to get done, ask somebody who's busy, you know, and, you know, they see you busy, but they, they feel like, oh, you know, um, you do it, you do it so casually, you know, you do it so just in a chill vibe. So I feel like people have been putting a lot on the table for you as well. So give give your time, give yourself some time to rest, to recover, reconsider situations. And for others of you guys to heal, you need to heal, take a vacation. It's going to be a time for you to take a vacation. You're going to have the money to do it. You're going to have the stability to take a vacation, to take a break, to, to finally just kind of like say, you know what? All right, I, I'm going to preserve my energies. Okay. I'm seeing here that also there's going to be an energy here of mental clarity coming in for you. You're going to master something. In the middle of the month, you're going to literally master a way of doing things. You're going to master, you're going to be disciplined in some area of your life that you've perhaps started to learn about. It could be the fact that if you do make these changes or if these, you know, you step out of your comfort zone at first, it might be a little bit intimidating learning a new skill, uh, 
getting acclimated to a new environment, to a new place, a new location, a new job, a new relationship, a new friendship, a new place, whatever this is, but you're going to soon master it. By the middle of the month, I mean, you guys are so fast. By the middle of the month, you're literally going to be like, I know it. I know everything there is to know about the situation. People are going to come and, you know, ask you questions like, oh, that new person? Yeah, they know like everything. Go ask them. You know, that kind of vibe. Or this could be, you know, you mastering um, something here related to your studies. For others of you, you're going to have such mental clarity where if right now you feel confused, you don't know what you want, you don't know what to do, you don't know how this is going to work for you, you don't know what decision to make. Oh, believe me, by the middle of the month, you will no, you're going to have that just sharp mind. Like, you know, it's like decisions. You're just going to be making them left and right. Okay. So you're also going to have that mental clarity to tell it like it is. If you need to confront a person, a situation, wait until the middle of the month, because I feel like at the beginning of the month, things may be a little bit new for you. Excuse the noise. Things may be a little bit kind of new and or, you know, you're kind of like getting your feet wet a little bit, but by the middle of the month, you will know it all. You will literally be able to convince anyone, influence anyone and get your way, get your way. Okay. So I'm loving this already. Let's see in your um, future, near future, which is like towards the end of the month. Yeah, another offer. I mean, you guys are literally getting offers left and right. The Page of Cups, the King of Pentacles, and the Three of Swords. So in the uh, towards the end of the month, I see here that there's going to be an opportunity for you to heal. For others of you guys, there's going to be some kind of a heartbreak, heartache, and or a breakup. Okay, we're going to see what that's all about because I am sensing here that if... Um, Somebody here uh, causes this breakup or heartbreak or whatever this is. It could be a third party situation. It doesn't have to be. Somebody's going to end up apologizing, whether you towards them, them towards you, but there's going to be an apology by the end of the month. And I feel here that uh, whether this is a person here who makes promises, they don't deliver on these promises, they don't really know what they want, that kind of vibe. But I feel that you're going to be so stable in your energies that no one is going to be able to know that you're going through this or that you're healing through this. I feel like it's more so healing energy because you're standing there very powerfully in your confidence. For others, you will be meeting a different person. You're going to be meeting an individual here who is very wealthy, who is very stable, emotionally, financially, they are very loyal, they want something long term, whether they're offering you a job, whether they're offering you love offer, a position, a friendship, whatever this is, we're going to see when we clarify in your opportunity. Yeah, so this is mo mostly healing. This is not a heartbreak. This is you having the opportunity to heal from a heartbreak that is still going to linger by the end of the month. I mean, getting over heartbreaks and, you know, pain isn't easy. So, however, you're going to be getting the opportunity this new month to finally heal, to finally release the burden of guilt, to release the burden of sometimes people feel guilty because, you know, you think to yourself, gosh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have opened my heart to that person. I knew better. Why did I do that? Right. Or I shouldn't have said that or whatever this is. Right. And or it could just be some kind of guilt of something that you feel at fault about. But again, you're going to have an opportunity to release this guilt, to release this burden that you've been carrying for far too long. For others, it's trust issues. You're going to be able to release some kind of energy here where you haven't been able to trust people around you, trust new situations, because you're carrying around this burden of people have done you wrong in the past, and so therefore you're very closed off, right? For others of you guys, you've been isolating yourself and you're finally going to be able to open up yourself. The opportunities are there. I see that you will also have an opportunity to speak the truth and see through the BS of somebody here who has been lying, who has been deceitful, who um, has been kind of like, you know, trying to get away with something. It could be a person here who has been giving you a really hard time. Uh, it could be a jealous person. It could be a person here who is in competition with you. It's like they always want to do better, but then they try and take a shortcut, that kind of vibe. So I feel that you're going to have an opportunity to finally see through the veil, the mask, right? You're going to be able to see through the mask who they really are. 
And that's very liberating. Yeah, it might be heartbreaking at first, but believe me, I, I, I prefer to see the truth if, if I were you. Let's go ahead and look deeper into this. So let's see uh, recognition, reward, and three of cups here as your um, clarification. So you have here the seven of pentacles, the world, the page of wands, and the king of wands. So with the king of wands here, your confidence is going to shoot right up. If you've been, you know, kind of feeling a little bit, you know, unmotivated, uninspired, your level of confidence, you haven't been feeling too good about yourself. It's not that you're not doing good, you guys. It's just that you're be you've been doing too much to the point where you're so exhausted that you don't even recognize your own wins. It's like you do so much during the day, during the week, and you just go home and you go to sleep and you barely take a look at your wins. You need to start creating a list every single day, right? Like, okay, even of your accomplishments, create a list because you need to, you definitely need to raise your vibration. I feel like your vibration is going to be raising, but that's going to be very helpful for you. Okay. So this is all about your confidence you stepping into your confidence as well. Now I'm also seeing here that with these other energies, yeah, so I do see that this month, like I said, in an area of your life where you haven't seen change, you haven't seen growth, whether it's in a relationship, in a career, in a family situation, in a project that you're working on, you've been putting in the work, you've been putting in the effort. I see here that part of the change and part of the result are going to come from you finally saying, you know what? This situation has already hit a dead end. Okay. And I see that your recognition and your rewards are going to come from you opening up to something new. So you're going to tie up those loose ends that need to be tied up. Finally, you're going to say to yourself, okay, you know what? I've given what I had to give. I learned what I had to learn. And now it's time for me to close out this chapter of my life. Okay, whether it's a connection, relationship, career, project that you're working on, whatever this is, because it's your glow up phase. This is a time for you to step outside of your comfort zone and go after what really brings you to life, what really makes you feel passionate. I feel like for some of you guys, it's like there's a sense of like, I'm over it. Like at one point, maybe you were into it, you were into that whatever that is, right? It's like when you're into a certain music genre and then you're like, gosh, I'm so over that music genre. Now you're into something else, right? Or when you're into, you know, um, a particular, you know, who knows, a particular vehicle or a particular, uh, whatever it is, right? Particular type of person. It could also be, right? Um, and then all of a sudden you're just kind of like over it or like a food, right? You're like, oh my God, I love this type of food and you eat it all the time. And then all of a sudden you're like, I've had it enough. Like I'm, I'm over it already. I just needed to experience it. I needed to experiment with it. Now I'm over it. I'm ready for something new. So you're going to be definitely ready for a new adventure, a new type of situation, a new relationship, a new career, a new friendship, a new, whatever, the, whatever this is, a new idea, project, whatever it is that, you know, inspires you, motivates you. Okay. You're finally going to be honest with yourself about, yeah, this is a dead end. I, you know, you're kind of over it. You've outgrown it you know, that kind of vibe. Let me know in the comments below what that's all about. All right, let's see. Guided. Okay, so this says here, my spirit guides are helping assist in this divine connection and I'm gaining a new insight. So you are being guided towards who or what is meant for you. Okay, you and this thing, person, place, or thing are being guided towards each other. Okay, so whether it's a person, a connection, a business, friendship, relationship, family member, friend, whatever this is, you two are being guided towards each other. Things were very closed off for you before you gained this enlightenment, but you definitely are gaining a new insight. It's like whenever you feel a little bit different, you're going to be feeling like, why do I feel so different about this? person now? Or why do I feel so different about this environment that I've been in for so long? Why am I feeling so different about this connection or this idea or this project or this job or whatever this is? You're going to start shifting. You're going to start receiving some kind of an enlightenment because you've already outgrown it. And now the universe is trying to take you to where your soul wants to be so that it can continue growing. So whether this is love, career, family situations, it could be a project 
project that you're working on that you want to work on, uh, whatever this is, um, your spirit guides are helping assist you in this divine connection, situation, environment, and you are gaining a new insight. You're being enlightened towards it and it's being enlightened towards you. So again, meet it halfway or meet them halfway, whoever, whatever this is. Like it could be, you know, the fact that like I recently mentioned that you felt really comfortable in one place at one time, whether it's a job, a place that you lived at, a relationship, but now it's like there's something different and you're, you're kind of like, being guided towards something else or someone else could also be the fact that you and a person uh, have been very closed off to each other but now you both are being enlightened to open up towards each other in a different way right in a different kind of way let's see your present energy the five of uh pentacles reverse the six of cups and the six of swords at the bottom here the page of wands so i see here that if you've been struggling financially don't you worry because by the middle of the month I see here that not only that huge pentacle that we saw earlier right that offer here uh, it could be commitment it could be a relationship finally you know you committing to something or someone it could be you finally committing to an idea uh, it could be money of course abundance coming in but I feel that for a lot of you guys if you've been wanting um, help in your money department help is coming you're going to see progress. You're going to see growth in your money department. And for others, if this is some kind of energy of self-sabotage, you've been dealing with some kind of energy of, you know, um, needing to heal from some kind of trauma, some trauma or some old programming has been holding you back, you're going to start healing. I feel that for a lot of you guys, you're going to either have a reconciliation with, uh, it could be a family member, it could be a friend, it could be a loved one, a child, it could be, you know, a love a lover whoever this is but there there's there's that sense of okay um let's make it work right in order to heal from whatever happened in the past okay uh, for others of you guys somebody here is going to be feeling a little bit of a sense of nostalgia only because you're letting go of something that you are used to you are accustomed to it whether you know it's a place a location where you live and you're moving to somewhere else whether it's a job whether it's a relationship but i see you moving on to something better you're moving on to something better and something greater for sure okay let me know in the comments below what that is all pertaining to for others it could be a person coming in from the past apologizing to you or trying to reconnect with you it could be a friend it could be a family member a lover a loved one and for others of you guys in the middle of the month you're going to meet a brand new person that feels like an instant connection you're going to feel like oh my god have we met before and they're going to be like no i don't know who you are and you're gonna be like I don't know who you are either, but I feel like I've met you in a past lifetime. Why do I feel like I know you? Because you have met in a past lifetime. One of those divine connections in the by the middle of the month. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and see. Fragmentation. Okay. Things are getting very deep here. So by the middle of the month, you guys, um, there's going to be some shadow work that, uh, is going to come up whether you want to do the work right they say do the shadow work or not but it's going to come up it's your decision uh, until you make your shadows conscious you will still continue to hurt yourself and others so in the middle of the month there's going to be a time for reflection remember i told you you're going to be able to take a break okay um either to take this break for renewal for rest recovery um for uh who knows maybe to just gain back your energy whatever it is but during that time i feel that things are going to start coming up to the surface things that maybe you haven't had time to focus on right like those deeper aspects of you and so until you make those shadows conscious you will still continue to hurt yourself or others so this is calling for healing okay, to take the mask off. If this is for you, you're going to have an opportunity in the middle of the month to finally take off that mask that you've been wearing for far too long. The mask of either you not caring for whatever happens, you having to wear that mask of 
Maybe you've had to wear that mask of seemingly being tough because your circumstances at the time required you to be tough for survival mechanisms. And now you're needing to heal. You're needing to really be sensitive with yourself. For others of you, it could be any kind of other mask. It could be the fact that you've had to wear a mask of, you know, you needing to kind of um, show up in the world so that you get gain the respect that you want. And you have to show up, you thought you had to show up in a certain way in order to gain that respect, in order to gain that appreciation. That mask is about to fall off. Now you're going to be more real with yourself, with other people. You're not going to be hurting yourself as much anymore because, or at all, because now you're being real with you. You're being real with yourself. And when you're real with yourself, then you can be real and honest with others. Okay, so some kind of mask is going to fall off. If this is not you, it's somebody around you. For some, somebody from the past is going to come in and that mask is going to fall off. Remember how we did see the Seven of Swords? So for some, that mask is pertaining to a person here who has been wearing a false mask of either lying, of deception. For others, it's a false mask where they had you believe something that wasn't they were projecting something onto you, but their false mask is going to fall off because their shadows are needing to become conscious now based on whatever changes you are creating in your life or happening in your life. I feel like this individual is going to start becoming more consciously aware. And uh, again, they're going to have to make a decision. Do they want to be honest with themselves and be honest with you? Or do they still want to continue hurting themselves and others? But somebody's mask is going to fall off here. Whether yours, theirs, or maybe both. Maybe both of you guys are just going to be like, you know what? Let's just be real with each other. Let's just be honest. Okay, but whatever this is, let's go ahead and now jump into the extended. And in the extended reading, we go deep into this other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what will be the final result. And we will end the reading with any messages from spirits. So if you want to check that out, I'm now offering 50% off all extended readings. You can find the link to the extended down in the description box below and also in the comments that are linked down below. And a quick announcement for those of you guys who are new to the channel. I have been dealing with a lot of issues here with the new YouTube algorithm that has been hiding my videos and has been shadow banning my channel. So a lot of subscribers here have been telling me that YouTube has been unsubscribing them involuntarily without their consent. They subscribe, they think that they're subscribed, and then all of a sudden they don't get my notifications. They double check and they realize, oh my gosh, the YouTube algorithm has unsubscribed them. So if you think that you are subscribed to the channel, double check for me, do me a favor, go back to the subscription, make sure that you are still subscribed. If not, you can resubscribe. If you want to also refresh the subscription, you can unsubscribe, then resubscribe again. Then you can click the notification bell. And when you click the notification bell, make sure that you click all, because if you do not click all, then it will not notify you of upcoming videos. And also, you know, this had been making me feel very discouraged uh, when I first learned about this. I didn't really realize what was going on. I just saw a very significant drop in views in life likes and comments in my channel. And uh, again, it was really discouraging me. I was even thinking about going on to a different platform, but little did I know that it was a YouTube algorithm who has been hiding my videos from the news feed. Uh, it's not been notifying my uh, my subscribers and also it's been unsubscribing my, uh, my subscribers and my viewers. So again, if you would like to support the channel, if you do enjoy these readings, because you know, the mission here for me is to provide these readings so that they can help you in some kind of way perform. Okay. I'm hoping that these readings, you find them helpful in some kind of way so that they can guide you in whatever it is that you're going through right now in your life in whatever area of your life this is. So again, if you want to support the channel, comment down below. It really makes a huge difference when you comment down below. Even if it's just commenting an emoji, you can let me know how the reading resonated for you. If you are enjoying these readings, anything. And also it doesn't cost you one thing to give this video a thumbs up. So give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, share with other people, hit that notification bell and make sure also that you hit all. Remember also to click on the comments below because I'm now 
pinning all of the new weekly readings, all of your blessings, monthly readings, your mid monthly readings and your new monthly readings for you. Again, you can easily access all of these readings. If you click on the comments below, you will see the first comment on there that is pinned with all these links. Thank you all so much for your support, your love, your comments, your likes, subscribes, take very good care of yourself and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psych source so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.